Now, fans of the late Nigerian musician Fela Kuti consider themselves fortunate if they saw him perform live, but many who are now seeing the politically controversial figure's performances acted out in an award-winning Broadway play say they feel the same. It was at this very venue that Fela himself used to perform before he died in 1997. But recently, hundreds of his fans gathered at the renovated New Africa Shrine in Lagos to watch the screening of a London performance of Fela, the musical. No matter if this is your first concert in the Shrine or not, everybody say yeah, yeah. The musical, which has become an international sensation after its launch in New York and the United Kingdom, tells the story of the controversial musician's life and career as an artist and political figure. Rabbi Isima is with the British Council, which coordinated the screening. Really, it's about the creativity of his music and not about the ideology or his stance as a social critic. As I said, uh, our program is an arts and it's about the creativity. You will admit that uh, Fela was a good musician. Uh, not a good musician, an excellent, great musician. Hear him on the saxophone. You listen to it in awe of the genius behind the man. And that is what we are bringing forth to people so they can enjoy it and be part of his whole music. Fela's politically charged lyrics often decried injustice and corruption by governments, including his own. This image of him as a pan-African revolutionary won him many admirers. He represents a struggle that we think many Nigerians can relate with. And just by the response that we've got to the screening today, we know that those ideals that he stood for are still alive. It was complex. He was um, mysterious in some ways. He was, um, there was a lot of controversy around him, but nobody can take it away from him that he stood for some things that are still relevant. Since his death from AIDS 14 years ago, a faithful crowd of fans still come to the shrine to listen to his music and celebrate his legacy. But I Drive I drove cars very fast. Ha. He loved his boy, he loved women, and he loved music. He loved human beings. Thela, the musical, won three Tony Awards last year in New York. The Tonys are Broadway's most prestigious awards.